Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4, as well as the new Jump Stars Ultimax game speculation, predictions, you know, type of deal, and actually some potential leak info in regards to this new Jump Collab game, okay? The new anime collab game that's allegedly supposed to be announced pretty soon here, or at least in the near future. Um, we got to talk about all this because there's a lot of misinformation that's being spread or things that, um, you know, you shouldn't believe. Uh, let's just talk about it. We'll break down all the information. First, let me just talk about Tenkaichi 4 now. No new information on this game. Obviously, there hasn't been any new information since the reveal back in March. Um, we still haven't even gotten an official title for this game yet. However, okay, I did want to bring up this right here because this potentially could be very big in regards to just any anime game in general okay as you guys know e3 is not happening this year okay summer game fest is replacing that so it could be either summer game fest or they might just reveal something pretty big on this playstation showcase okay so i don't know if you want to consider this a state of play thing whatever it just says playstation showcase all right so it just says uh, this was posted by the official PlayStation, so as you guys know, you probably saw this. It's going to be happening on May 24th on Wednesday. So, I mean, today, by the time this is recorded, this might be like a day or two right before. I'll be sure to post this before this goes up so that we can potentially expect anything. So, May 24th at 1 p.m. PST. Okay, so that's going to be, I believe, 3 p.m. CST and 4 p.m. EST. For those of you that live in America, you, and you can you know do your time conversions wherever else you live, right? So it just says PlayStation Showcase broadcast live next Wednesday. Okay, so um, I don't really know what they're gonna show. Honestly, I don't know if it's gonna be already existing games. Uh, that's what I'm I'm assuming because it says Showcase. So it's like any games that are that have already been announced, they'll maybe talk about. So we could see Storm Connections maybe. But there's always potential of them, you know, doing some big stuff. Okay, they could drop a new game reveal at this. Okay, like I said, E3 is not here anymore. So don't expect E3 to be the big reveal. But, but the Summer Game Fest also is a possibility of when any, you know, major uh, announcements might take place. Um, sometimes, or in the past at E3, it was generally the Xbox showcase that would drop a big anime game reveal. All the Dragon Ball games like Fighters and Kakarot, that was revealed there, uh, and Jump Force, which nobody had any idea about, got revealed over there, okay? So... Uh, that's that's kind of my idea and prediction if there's going to be anything coming soon in terms of Tenkaichi 4 It could be at this or it could be at Summer Game Fest, okay? And even then it could still be sometime after that like I said in previous videos we have a Tokyo Game Show um, There's gonna be jump, you know festa and all that stuff probably by the end of the year There's a lot of events Tenkaichi 4 stuff could be announced at any time if they feel like it, okay? But I'm just giving you guys an idea of possibilities of when we could see it so that's pretty much it for tenkaichi 4 that i wanted to talk about in this video because i just wanted to compile it all together because the main meat of this video is going to be focused on this new jump stars ultimax game okay that has been going around this leak has is is very popular right now and i wanted to talk about all the information that we uh currently know so far in terms of what was leaked okay so let's talk about this okay you guys saw the video i made uh, I'm sure you've seen other videos and other posts on Twitter, 4chan, you know, whatever, maybe Reddit, any of these social media websites. This has been going on and spreading like fire because it's, they, look at this. <laughs> I just want you to look at it, okay? It's literally a pretty legit looking uh, screenshot. And obviously, any type of screenshot like this uh, with the, the really bad cam like this is one of the most this is absolutely one of the most generic leak screenshots that you can get all they had to do was blur it a little bit more and then we had it all right we knew it was fake but no it could be real it could be real the logo itself i mean i saw people saying like oh the logo looks really bad or whatever and it's like well i mean there are times where logos like official logos don't really look all that great so it's just subject to opinion if you think it looks bad great that's probably if that's what it ends up looking like then you can complain about it i guess but hey it looks to me it looks pretty legit i think it looks kind of cool i don't think it looks bad at all um and then it says coming soon with the jump okay shonen jump like logo like that is the style that they use okay and i know people are gonna bring up uh oh what like they're calling it jump stars ultimax wasn't there a game called like uh jump stars 
uh, Ultimate or whatever. There was that one that was on the DS, okay? And it's called Ultimax, okay? They're just, they're combining, combining two really large scale words, Ultimate and Max, Ultimax. And it kind of works, I'm not gonna lie, okay? So as you can see right here, it does say Bandai Namco Entertainment, Shueisha Games, Shueisha, and for the 55th anniversary. That's right there. The 55th anniversary is why I believe this is this could be true, okay? Again, take what is said throughout this whole video with a grain of salt. Nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed, as I always state, but you guys should know that by now. I shouldn't have to say it, but I will for the younger people or people that are just like, <laughs> they don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? They're like, all right, I'll believe anything. Okay, don't be gullible. All right, I'm a very gullible person. All right, as you can see, I'm, I'm believing this kind of. <laughs> so don't be like me, okay? You gotta, you gotta be logical about this, but... Uh, it shows right here Cyber Connect 2, which is the developer, could be the developer, and the Shueisha Games, um, I think they might be a developer or a licensor, I'm not exactly sure, they are a legitimate new company that has come out, it's Shueisha, you know, the company that's doing all these anime things, okay, that like owns the IP and all that, I guess they decided, fuck, we'll just make our own company for video games and stuff, okay, so... Uh, that's a real thing. All this stuff right here is all pretty legit. Now, some people will bring up this right here. Why is it only showing PS5 and PS4? Well, that's why I think it could be revealed at this PlayStation Showcase. Okay? That, to me, is very logical. Because I didn't I didn't even, like... I don't know if, it, if this was already leaked before this was, you know, shown or whatever. I can't remember, but... I completely forgot about this PlayStation Showcase that was happening. So I was like, oh, okay, that would actually make a lot of sense. You know, this is leaking, you know, at around the same time, a little bit early. Okay, it would make sense to me, to me. Okay, you, you can choose to believe it or not, right? Now, with the developer being CC2, okay, that definitely kind of kind of is a little bit weird that's great news if that's the case because cc2 does a fantastic job right they did the demon slayer game they did naruto storm game and they also worked on kakarot but it's like that's a lot of stuff that they're working on okay even though demon slayer is done they got naruto storm connections which i mean to be honest until we see anything real 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 new um that one doesn't seem like it's needing like a ton of you know like the whole like a massive team to be developing that okay because it pretty much has everything already there like the the foundation is already there they're just adding new characters potentially a new story maybe changing up some of the gameplay mechanics and stuff so this game definitely might be something that is reusing the uh engine and everything from storm because demon slayer kind of had that same style like naruto storm right now kakarot had a completely different style okay obviously everything was flight based the story and everything, you know, exploration, all that. Kakarot's different, okay? And they're still working on DLC for Kakarot. Obviously, they'll probably have different teams, you know, working on these games and all that. But it's like, I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. So, they are is CC2 turning in the MAPPA, okay? In, in, in terms of them just taking on so many projects, way too many projects than they should be taking on? I don't know, okay? So, that poses um, something that gets me a little bit worried, okay? Because Spike Chunsoft was the developer of Jump Force. I believe they also uh, were developing uh, J-Stars, Victory Versus or whatever, which that was probably the last really good anime collab game. I don't say really good, but like that was the one that was like, you know, people, anytime there was an anime collab game that people talked about, that people really liked the J-Stars game, okay? Even though uh, Jump Force was still very fun, you know, it had its issues and, you know, people expressed that, right? So uh, I want to bring up this person right here. Big shout outs to Ultra Onyx Knight, okay? Um, they actually have been in contact with me and giving me the real information. Uh, again, nothing is confirmed or legit, okay? And I'm not saying even saying that this person is reputable or any of these people are reputable because I, I, I literally, like, just got in contact with them. I, I've known them for years. I would have to know these people for years, several years, and I would have to see actual evidence of them, you know, leaking stuff that was legit, okay? So somebody like, for example, DBS Hype, very reputable, okay? Person has been leaking information for years or putting out info for years, and it ends up being 100% true, you know, months later or years later, right? So um, I do want to say a shout out to them because they kind of helped me understand this a little bit better. So you guys know that Naruto Storm Co. account, the one that is, you know, fake verified, aka paying for verification, okay? And they seem to be 
somebody that you know people are believing okay because of the account and how it's you know going around and they think they know what's going on and they, they think that they're leaking information and all that unfortunately that is not the case um they are actually just taking information from other people and posting it okay and i'm not i'm not here to start any drama or anything like that but i'm just saying that account right now just don't really believe everything that they post or if anything just don't believe anything that they post for now until i actually see that they are getting like this information from their own source that isn't from some random person on 4chan or whatever okay and here's the reason why okay i'm gonna bring it up for you guys right now so here was the initial leak okay this actually took place i believe a day or two before that naruto storm co account posted it so they literally found this posted it on their own thing and i don't think that they even you know gave the source okay so this just comes from anonymous okay so already right there you know it's kind of crazy and then the thread got archived so already right there as well you know if <laughs> if a thread gets archived you know you know shit kind of going down right i'm just messing around but you know it's this is this is you know this this is this could be big it could be big right coming from an anonymous source so it's not like we would know if they're reputable or not you know um i don't know man but let's just talk about the the specific information that is being shown right here they're stating that the trailer is going to be about two minutes long okay okay for a reveal trailer reasonable reasonable it's going to be an arena fighter obviously didn't think it was going to be anything else if you did think it was anything else then i don't i don't know what to tell you okay looks incredibly similar to the ultimate ninja storm games in terms of gameplay okay that is also very believable if they're taking on multiple projects like these at the same time I would expect it to have a foundation that is from something else, okay? Just like the Demon Slayer game kind of used that foundation, that same type of engine from Naruto Storm, right? So that, I can believe that. And it's actually not a bad, it's not, that's not bad at all, okay? Because even Jump Force itself was kind of like that, you know, you had that arena fighter on ground fighting, right? So it shows Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Luffy, Zoro, Deku, Bakugo, Ichigo, Yuji, Gojo. Oh, that's that's big. Okay, right? If this is true, um, Jujutsu Kaisen characters. Okay, that's what we wanted. We wanted that in Jump Force, and they never did it as DLC, right? Because Jujutsu Kaisen is fairly new. So that would be great. Okay, there's going to be Light, Gon, Kiloa, Yugi. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Nezuko, let's go, dude. Rip Onosuke. I'm just joking. <laughs> but no, that's great. Okay, again, Demon Slayer, super popular. Didn't get it in Jump Force. Now it's their time to shine, okay? Uh, Yusuke, Ken uh, Kenshiro, uh, Gintoki, okay. Um, Ryo Saiba, Koro Sensei coming back. I missed this dude. He was in a lot of the other older games. Now he coming back, bro. Okay. Boruto and Asta are all playable, okay? Obviously, if this is true, there would probably be more characters than that. Um, there's There are other leaks. I don't know if I really even want to go over those just because it looks ridiculous. Like The, ro the roster has like over 100 characters, almost like 200 characters that they're showing, which to me, that sounds pretty unbelievable. But at the same time, Naruto Storm uh connections or just the Naruto storm games they got a lot of characters too so i don't know we'll have to see because they're gonna have to make all these models right um or maybe they're taking them from other games i don't know we'll have to see. <laughs> we'll see if this is true okay so there's an obvious tease for more unrevealed unre characters like i said yeah obvious okay the following stages are seen in snippets of the gameplay the tournament of power arena Ooh, that's gonna be fancy katakura town okay that's sick from bleach we got um, Hidden Leaf Village from Naruto, UA Training Grounds from My Hero, uh, Going Merry Deck, Alubarna, Infinity Castle, Planet Namek, Valley of the End, Chunin Exams Final Stage. There's a lot. Okay, there's a lot. <laughs> uh, they kind of they're kind of using a lot of some of the stages that were already in. Um, what's it called? Jump Force. A lot of these were already in there. This is the cinematics are played throughout the trailer. They seem like they're taken from a story mode or something similar. Obviously, yeah, they would include some type of story mode. Uh, hopefully not as bad as the Jump Force one. One snippet has Asta and Yuji fighting a horde of possessed looking Marine guards. Oh, oh God. So this, this already sounds like Jump Force again. 
But you guys remember, I made a video about this leak before, and it sounded almost exactly like the Jump Force story, which, whatever, I don't, I'm not playing this game, or I'm not excited to get this game for the story at all, okay? Obviously, these Jump collab games aren't gonna have some, like, really cool, cohesive story, right? But, um, let's, we're gonna keep that, that one in mind, okay? When the trailer comes out, or if it comes out, let's just say, for example, it's coming out, okay? If we see Asta and Yuji, Itadori, okay? Jujutsu Kaisen teaming up with your boy from Black Clover. I love Black Clover, if you guys didn't know, okay? I know Black Clover gets a lot of hate. I love Black Clover. I can't wait for that new movie. So, if these two mofos are teaming up against a horde of possessed-looking marine guards, you know this shit was real. <laughs> Another one has Luffy and Zoro being attacked by something coming off screen. Not sure what it is. The trailer ends with an evil looking silhouetted figure. Couldn't recognize who it is. Might be an OC. Okay, just like Jump Force. Oh God, is it Glover? Is it Glover? He's coming back, y'all. Watch out. So I don't know if it will actually be revealed at the upcoming PS showcase or not. Uh, since I saw two different versions, the one pictured uh, that we see right here shows the PS4 and PS5 for systems as well as one that lists PS4, PS5, Switch, and Steam, okay? Which that is a little bit weird. That 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 to me is, is, is a red flag, okay? Because I, I would not expect it to be on Switch immediately. I think Switch maybe later? Okay, depending on how graphically intensive this game is, especially because there's been leaks about a new Nintendo Switch coming out, I feel like they would wait. I don't know. And then also, he doesn't specify Xbox. Obviously, it would be on Xbox. Okay, PS4, PS5, the Xbox systems, and Steam. That makes the most sense to me. This right here, a little bit weird. A little bit weird. But again, I don't know, man. I don't know. So another leak to further kind of validate this, okay? And I'm not, again, I'm not saying this person is real reputable. I've heard mixed opinions about this person, but I will give credit to where credit is due if this actually gets true, okay? They're just saying games I'm excited for, okay? This doesn't mean that's what's gonna be shown anytime soon okay this is just, this is just, they're, they're just listening an opinion of oh this is what i'm excited for you know what i mean so one of the things that come up okay because they list like specific titles right here but one of the things like there's three games here which i'm going to assume are games that they know might be announced that are not announced or revealed yet okay that's what i'm assuming these are i don't know what these two at the top and the bottom are but the one in the middle if you spell out the characters J U M P, okay. S T A R S, okay. Jump stars, huh? That fits. U L T I M A X. Well, goddamn, jump stars, Ulti Max, okay. Shout out to all the people in the replies. They already pointed that out, okay? Because again, this this is that big game that people are thinking is real or it's it's being leaked or whatever, Jumpstar's Ultimax, okay? Maybe, maybe. And this person, they've, they've posted a lot of leaks in regards to Naruto games, okay? And I think from what I've heard, again, I can't, I can't say, cause I, I don't, I don't really know what, who this person is too much, okay? I've just seen on some occasions that uh, people really do believe this person and they seem to think that they're reputable But then I've also heard other things. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know again I'm a I follow Dragon Ball stuff. I don't really follow the other, you know anime too much Okay, sometimes I'll dabble into Naruto games and stuff and maybe even Demon Slayer stuff, but Mo for the most part you guys know I'm, I'm Dragon Ball I I'm always in the Dragon Ball community in the Dragon Ball realm. So I'll I'll know who's who's you know making making shit up who's bullshitting and who's not okay because of the people that i've followed in the community for several years okay so i can't say anything about this person but i'm just saying that they're teasing potentially what this could be jump stars ultimax right so yeah i know that's a lot of information to digest and it's kind of confusing and blah 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 yeah you get the idea of it but who knows? Who knows? I'm 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 very optimistic that this is real. 
okay? And even if it's not real, I don't really care just because I know for a fact, even if this isn't it and people, somebody just absolutely fabricated and made this up completely, the Jump 55th Anniversary, I believe, is next year. So there is, should be, there should be some type of new Jump collab game, okay? Th there is so much money on the table right there for them to make a new Jump collab game. Because I've heard people say, why do we need another Jump collab game, okay? And obviously, why, why do we need any game? <laughs> like, that question is the dumbest question ever. Why do we need a new Jump collab game? Like, is you stupid? Like, it... It's a, it's a, it's a collaborative game of all your favorite Shonen Jump, weekly Shonen Jump anime and manga series. Why not? <laughs> like, y'all, am I, am I the crazy one? I don't know, man. Some of those, are, I see some, people just posting shit on Twitter, man. They just posting shit online and they, they don't even think, think it through, right? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the crazy one. But, um, hey, I'll tell you firsthand, if this is real and it gets revealed, I don't give a shit what it looks like, how it plays. I'm going to be buying it day one, and I'm going to try it out, okay? I want to experience whatever this game is itself, because I love all, basically, all the Shonen Jump anime. There's, there's some Shonen Jump anime, like, for example, like One Piece, I haven't even seen yet. But I'm excited as fuck to play it. And if that's the case, we're probably going to be getting all the crazy new forms. We might see Ultra Instinct Goku versus, uh... What is it? Gear 5 Luffy versus um, Bardion Mode Naruto. Like, ah, that would go so hard. I want to see Goku versus Gojo, bro. Go versus Go. Who going to win, man? Goku's winning, by the way. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, again, I'll link all the discords down below that you can guys, that you guys can join. There are a few of them uh, that a couple of people had contacted me about, said if I could you know, help promote it in any way. And it seems like that they've been posting some cool stuff if you're interested in it. Like I said, I'll link it down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Again, don't believe anything, okay? Don't believe any of this. This whole video, do not believe this, this entire video that I just made, okay? I'm just giving you guys little bits of information. I'm telling you guys what's fact and what's not. Obviously, there wasn't really any, like, fact, fact in this, but I'm just saying. It's all speculation, all predictions, all leaks. When it happens, it happens, right? That's what I always say, okay? Y'all take care. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet.